imagine that you are thinking about opening up a coffee shop, but all you've got on hand is a financial calculator and a series of forecasted cash flows. How would you go about solving the problem of whether or not you should invest in this coffee shop? We have done our analysis and determined that this coffee shop will cost us $150,000 of a cash outflow to start today or year one. And then for the next three years, it will generate us a $50,000 positive cash inflow at the end of year one, and then $60,000 at the end of year two, and then $70,000 at the end of year three. And we've also determined that based on the risk of the project, we're going to require that we get at least an 8% of a return on this project for it to be worth it for us. Should we accept the project? Well, we can use our calculator to determine that. And if you have a TIBA2 Plus financial calculator, you're going to see the exact same buttons as the calculator that I have here. The first thing we need to do is go over to this CF button and we'll hit that. And if you see values that aren't zero here, it's best to click second and then clear work so that we can get a completely clean slate to start off. Cash flow zero means the cash flow at time zero or today. For us, that is negative 150,000. So let's type in 150,000 and then hit this negative sign here and then enter. Now we've locked that in. Let's hit down arrow. Now this is cash flow at year one. So we can type in that 50,000 and then hit enter. That's locked in. Let's hit down arrow. This F01 tells us the frequency. So let's say that if at the end of year two, instead of getting 60,000, we got 50,000. Well, then we could assume that we're getting that cash flow from year one, that 50,000 twice. So we could put in two here. But because we're only getting this 50,000 a single time, we'll just leave that frequency of cash flow one as one. And then let's hit the down arrow. And now we're on to cash flow two, which is going to be the 60,000. There we go. And we'll hit enter, down arrow. Again, we're only getting that 60,000 a single time. So we'll leave that frequency of the second cash flow as one and hit down arrow. And now we've got our cash flow for year three of $70,000. So let's enter that. There we go, enter. We can hit down and see that again, we're only receiving the $70,000 a single time. And if I hit down, we'll see there should be no cash flow beyond year three. So that's zero. Now let's uh, find out what is the NPV? So let's hit NPV. So this I is our required rate of return, which we said was 8%. So we can just put in eight and then enter, and then let's hit the down arrow. So now we're going to compute our NPV. So let's hit compute. And we find that our NPV is $3,304.88. That means that we have a positive net present value for this project and that we should accept the project. Whenever NPV is positive, you should accept the project because that means that project is worth the risk. Another way we could determine whether or not we want to accept the project is to calculate the internal rate of return or the IRR. So the IRR is basically the yield on this investment or the yield that would make the NPV equal to zero. So now let's hit IRR and let's just compute. And so that tells us that our internal rate of return is 9.15% for this project because 9.15% is higher than the return that we demand based on the risk of the project. Again, we should accept this project based on the IRR rule.